In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this pencil topper, the penguin one, and you'll need less than 50 single rubber bands. So let's get started. First, we're going to make the gripper part for the top of our pencil. So you'll need a total of 10 rubber bands. This will be about half an inch long, so if you want it longer, you can use more than 10 single rubber bands. To do that, we're taking a single rubber band, putting it from the first peg to the second peg, now pulling the outside rubber band and pulling it across to the next row, attaching it to the one peg next to it, and then pulling the other side of that single rubber band and pulling it across like that. So you, now you've covered four single pegs and push it down. Taking your next color, I'm using black and white, and we're covering the four pegs. Making a diamond, push it down. Taking my next color, which is white, and once again, I'm covering the four pegs like a diamond. So now I'm going under, grab the very bottom rubber band and looping it up over the peg that it's on. And I'm doing that for all four pegs. Push it down, take your next color. Once again, loop it all around that, the four pegs. Pull the bottom peg, uh, the bottom rubber band over each peg. Push it down and just continue the, sip, the same pattern, putting a single rubber band, looping it up over the peg for all four pegs. And make sure there's always two single rubber bands left before you add your next color. This is my last color, the black one. Again, looping it all around the four pegs, getting the bottom band on each peg and looping it up over that peg. Since that's my last color of rubber band, I'm taking, now there's two single rubber bands, taking the bottom single, looping it up. So now I have only one single rubber band on each peg like that and what you want to do now is take it off of one peg and loop it across the one that's across from it take it from the other peg and just loop it on that one peg and we're just repeating it for all the other three and now it's all looped on that peg right there so all your rubber bands are now looped on a single peg now let's make the penguin's face, taking two single rubber bands. Mine will be black, coming down from the center. Peg down one, two single blacks, coming diagonally for both sides. And push it down. Two single rubber bands again will come down twice. on both sides. Now to the chin peg, we're taking two single whites coming diagonally from the third peg to the center and repeat on the other side. And we want to push the chin peg down to coming down the center of the face with two single rubber bands. Mine will be black and closing it off to the chin peg. And again, push, push it down. Now let's make the beak taking a single orange, twist, double it. Put it from the first peg to the second peg, anywhere on your loom. Taking another single orange, and we're going to cap it by looping it a total of four times. Go under the cap band, grab the bottom two, and looping it up and onto itself. Now let's take 
the front of the beak off very carefully of our loom. So now the beak is resting on the one peg. Take your single rubber band and get it. Your loops right on your hook and pull it off and attach it from the third peg to the third peg on your loom. And we can fix our beak later so it's sharp looking. Let's make the eyes taking a single rubber band, whatever color you want, mine's blue, and looping it four times on your hook. Taking a single white, looping it twice on one side and twice on the other. Repeat on for the other eye, same thing, looping it four times total, taking a single, looping it twice on one side and twice on the other. And if you can't do the eye on the hook like this, I did it in my baby panda video on the loom. Now taking your black, it's going on the face and I'm going to pull all my eye parts right onto my single black rubber band. Try to keep the order Repeat for the other eye, pulling it onto the black single band and looping it from the second peg to the second peg and split out your eyes. You can fix it later. Taking a single rubber band and creating the holding rubber band, the triangle around our eye. Now we're going to take the gripper part, the topper part for our um, pencil, and this will create the, um, the cap band for our penguin's face. And you can do this for any animal that you want to make. Just make the face of the animal and then using the topper part and putting it on the fourth peg in the center where the cap band should be. Just put it very carefully, making sure all your rubber bands get onto that peg right there. Now you want to go under all those bands, grab the top two. It should be the ones coming up around the beak and looping it up, it's created a nice teardrop. Once again, go in, grab the next top two, looping it up and onto itself, creating teardrops. And for my penguin here, I'm gonna give him little fluffy cheeks, taking a single rubber band. I'm looping it three times to create four loops, grabbing the rubber band we just looped on and pulling those loop bands onto the rubber band and putting it back onto itself. Repeat on the other side, same thing, looping it three times with a single to create four loops. Grabbing the top band we just looped up like that and pulling the looped bands onto it and loop it right back onto itself. Now go in the side pegs, grab the bottom two bands, and continue looping up, creating teardrop to the very top peg, center peg. Repeat on the other side. And now the center. Make sure you push your eyes apart if it's stuck in between. And lastly, the last two rubber bands onto the center top peg. Take your slip knot rubber band, put your hook through the center loop, grab it and tie it off. Take your penguin off the loom. your penguin topper, fix his eyes so it looks right, it's important. 
that the eyes look right. Pull out the beaks and if it's protruding too much, make sure you kind of pull it and fix it so it doesn't look too funny. And put your hook through and hide your slipknot rubber band. So there's your penguin head topper. Now take your pencil, open the bottom and push it through the opening for your pencil topper. There you have it. So this is your penguin pencil topper and you can push the eraser part through if you have any through the back like that to expose it so you can erase or you can just pull it in. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching.